is Mary Galera, I'm a Professorial Fellow at the Department of Medicine at the University of Melbourne. I'd like to welcome you to the Hand Hub at the Royal Park campus of the Royal Melbourne Hospital. The Hand Hub has been uh, developed to improve the upper limb function of people who have problems using their arm and hand and we have set it up so that we've got multiple pieces of equipment to enable people with varying levels of ability uh, to improve their function. Behind me uh, we have uh, a, a device called the Rejoice workstation and uh, this uh, enables people to use various um, movements of their hand uh, to play the game and this particular game requires a person to have a, a, a pincer grasp, so a very fine uh, grasp, and uh, people get to practice that during the game, and uh, their success is recorded, and they can then uh, try and beat their score from occasion to occasion. So the idea behind this equipment is to use technology to enable people to get more practice for uh, their upper limb function because during the regular therapy sessions uh, there's often a focus on lots of other things like learning to walk or balance or to um, uh, improve their activities of daily living um, and for home visits and things like that and therefore patients often don't get the opportunity to practice hand and arm activities to the extent that they need to uh, to improve their function. So people are uh, referred to the Hand Hub via the uh, Upper Limb Clinic, uh, which is uh, staffed by a rehabilitation consultant and an occupational therapist. And people are assessed to see whether they're suitable for the program. And if they are, then they're accepted into the program and they're offered um, a number of sessions uh, uh, in, in the Hand Hub. Uh, so that they can come on a regular basis and, and receive uh, a number of sessions, which is usually about 15 or 16 uh, sessions. Well, there's a lot of evidence that you need to practice activities to improve your arm and hand function. Without the practice, you're not going to get the structural changes in the nervous system that will lead to functional changes. So, uh, you know, this is really an opportunity to provide more practice. So there's already plenty of evidence for that. Um, what it, this is is, a, is an adjunct to standard uh, rehabilitation. It's, it's providing more opportunities. Uh, what we've started here in the Hand Hub is an evaluation of the program and we are evaluating it from a number of different um, uh, uh, perspectives. One is a system perspective to actually ensure that it does actually increase the amount of time people are spending on upper limb uh, function activities. The other is that we really need to see from the patient's perspective whether they improve and thirdly, we are also undertaking a cost effectiveness analysis so that we will, at the end of the evaluation, know, you know for whom this works, uh, by how much and how much it costs. Patients with multiple sclerosis have been referred to the Hand Hub and they've uh, gone through the program. While I can't tell you about those particular uh, patients specifically, what we've done is we've evaluated a number of people who have been through the program before and we found that all have made significant changes in their uh, upper limb, uh, uh, um, sorry, all have made significant changes in their upper limb function and all have had an improved quality of life.